This is Life Lesson 38. Practice being optimistic. I see lots of people whose natural default setting is to be pessimistic. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and questions to ask yourself to become optimistic, to make that your default setting. So in order to progress, we have to understand what being pessimistic is about, the reason we have it. And it's a defense mechanism. It could well be if you're a pessimistic person that something has happened in the past that causes you to be generally pessimistic. So there's a few things we have to consider. When we understand what pessimism is, then we can then set our default setting to become optimistic. So if we know it's a defense mechanism, the first thing we need to be doing is changing our expectations. And if we can change our expectations, my expectation is naturally to get a result. It's going to go well. It's not negative, it's positive. Why are so many people pessimistic as opposed to optimistic? And I think it comes down to things that have happened to you in your life. First step to breaking out of pessimism is to appreciate being pessimistic is counterproductive for you living harmoniously. And when we realize that, we don't want to be pessimistic anymore because it's counterproductive. So how do we break that cycle? And step one is to recognize when you are being pessimistic. And once you recognize that, is understanding that it's a defense mechanism. So we have to ask ourselves the question, where did this come from? And there could be something in your past that is causing you to be very pessimistic. And once we understand that defense mechanism is there just to protect you and we recognize it's there, is there an opportunity? Is there a solution? Is there, what is the upside of whatever's going on at that moment in time? And then we can ask ourselves then, what, what can we expect positive to come out of this as opposed to it's not going to work? And, I, and some examples of being pessimistic would be, oh, this is not going to work out for me or it never works out for me or you only see the dangers in whatever's being presented. You don't see the, uh, the opportunity, you see the problem. You always see the downsides to everything you're presented to you. So if, if someone's telling you this is a wonderful opportunity, you say, yeah, but it doesn't work in this scenario. It doesn't work in that scenario. Because we tend to mold the world according to our own reality, with the way we want to fit our reality. So if we're naturally pessimistic, we're looking for the dangers, we're looking for the bad things, as opposed to looking for the good things, looking for the positive things, looking for the opportunities. Another way of, of identifying whether you're pessimistic or not is if you're always complaining. Now, I'm not saying you are, but just take a look in the mirror. Are you one of these people that was moaning and groaning or mentioning things? Because that could then give you an in insight into how you're thinking, how your default setting is set. So once we know these questions to ask ourselves, we can readjust our expectation. So if we start looking for solutions, if we start looking for opportunities and then counterbalancing that with, okay, there are some dangers, we're aware of that and that's just an awareness. We, just, we need to be aware of everything, but that's not the overriding thing that we'll be looking for. We're looking for the upside, the positive sides. And having the respect, and this is important because I see this with opportunists all the time, they, they automatically assume you should be positive and optimistic as opposed to having respect for pessimism. Have respect. What I do for a living, I trade properties, I buy them off the open market and sell them via auction. And my first question I ask myself when I'm looking at something is, can I live with the downside? So I'm automatically seeing the negative first to get it out of the way. And then I'm looking for the optimistic side. So I recognize that it's a mechanism. I recognize the fact that this is there to keep me safe. It's not going to rule my life. So once we're in that position of understanding what pessimistic is, we can counterbalance that with questions and step. Then we can start to live harmoniously in our lives. And there's one more aspect of it is we, you are not constantly pessimistic. You're optimistic in some areas of your life. So just borrow the, the strategy you use for optimism. 
somewhere else in your life and bring it over to where you are generally pessimistic. Because if you wasn't optimistic, you wouldn't do some certain things successfully. We just want to turbocharge your life to live in a harmonious way. So until next time.